So after seeing an Eric Cortina video where he had essentially the best word I can come up with is a quad pod for his lab radar. And having had a lab radar for a while and gone through the headaches that are entailed with that, I decided to make my own. So I modeled these up in Fusion 360, printed it on my 3D printer. Um, I used a material called ASA, which is gonna require you to use an enclosed 3D printer. You can make it out of PLA on something like an Ender 3 Pro, which is like a $200 3D printer. Um, it just won't last as long. The ASA is more heat resistant and it deals better with the UV. Um, anyways, what the quad pod allows you to do is mount your lab radar directly over your barrel. Um, I also made a mount for my battery there, as you can see. And having just used it for the first time, I have to say it's a game changer. It absolutely makes using a lab radar way less of a headache. Um, I have my JKL Precision trigger which is also, as far as I'm concerned, a must have. You can use a regular microphone, guys have success with that. I like this um, because I shoot a lot of suppressed rifles. And even with a microphone, I'm not sure something like a suppressed 300 blackout would set it off. Um, the JKL works off of recoil. I think it's a piezo uh, electric. So like basically a knock sensor and an engine and a 3D printed enclosure. But anyways, this is awesome. Um, this is the way, as far as I'm concerned, to use a lab radar for doing load development. Here's a closer look at how it's designed. I used the tripod head that came with the lab radar branded tripod that you can buy. So I just pulled the head off of, pulled the head off of it. I made a hole that comes up through the middle and there's a little uh, 3 8 16 socket head cap screw that comes up. Tripod head screws onto that. Bob's your uncle. Uh, later tonight, I'll update this video and I'll put links to the STL files. I'll upload them to Thingiverse. And I'll also, if the Thingiverse allows it, I'll upload the Fusion 360 um, CAD files. Um, my models aren't great. Um, I'm self-taught using Fusion 360, as in I taught myself to model these. Anyways, hope that helps. If you have a lab radar and you've had frustrations with it, that's your fix.